Another denial of documented history by a Japanese official is threatening to derail a landmark agreement between Korea and Japan on Tokyo's wartime sexual enslavement of Korean women and girls. The latest controversial remarks come amid chilled Seoul-Tokyo relations over the recent installation of a statue in Korea's port city of Busan. Kim mo gyun has more. Japan's chief cabinet secretary Yoshihide Suga has once again denied his country's sexual enslavement of women during World War II. When asked about a recent CNN report on the so-called comfort woman issue, Suga said the Japanese government has found no evidence that the authorities at the time abused the woman. The latest statement by such a high-ranking Japanese official is expected to deal another blow to Japan's already strained ties with Korea as it runs counter to Tokyo's acceptance of responsibility in a landmark agreement reached with Seoul in late 2015. In the 1993 Kono statement, Japan also admitted its direct and indirect involvement in the coercive recruitment of women into sex slavery during the war. Nearly a month has passed since Japan recalled its ambassador to Seoul and its consul general in Busan in protest over a statue in Busan dedicated to the victims of wartime sexual slavery. The Korean government has announced that it will refer to the statue as Sonyosang, which means statue dedicated to women and girls, to show respect to the young girls sexually abused during the war, as opposed to Japan's announcement that it will call it the Comfort Woman Statue. The row over their shared history is expected to rumble on as reports say Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe has ordered the diplomats to stay in their home country until the Korean government removes the statue. Kim Mo-gyun, Arirang News.